Hello everybody, welcome back to some Train Sim Classic and today we are playing the scenario 4M02 uh, Felix Stowe to Hams Hall Part 1 and uh, in this scenario we have this very nice AP Class 66 in a first GBRF livery and this one is 66723 Chinook and uh, it's a very very nice 66 uh, we are on the London Ipswich route and uh, I believe we've just got a sort of, in part one here, we've just sort of got to take these uh, intermodal containers um, down to Hams Hall. We are running a bit late so uh, before we jump in I do want to say if you are enjoying these videos please leave a like and a subscribe and hit the bell icon as well so you don't miss any new videos. Alright, let's um, jump in and get this 6-6 six -six on the go. Okay, here we are inside the 66. We'll just quickly have a look at our briefing. Hello, driver. You're a few minutes late, so as soon as you're ready, you may depart uh, for, for uh, Ipswich, uh, East Suffolk Junction. Enjoy. So that's where we're going. That We're just going over to Ipswich um, in this one, part one. Uh, I've got to try and remember how to how to use the uh, 66. It's been such a long time. Um, so we get the key in first. Oh, I've just pulled it out. Whoops, didn't mean that. Clear that. Put it forward. And we do have uh, air brakes, if I remember correctly. So we need to release them. Yeah. And we've, we can set the speed set, I believe. Oh, maybe not. I thought we could. Uh, speed control. Oh, we can't do it on this one. That is a shame. Yeah, I thought we could on this one. No matter. No matter. Um, I can't set this up either. This is a very early um, Armstrong Powerhouse EP. So there's not a lot of features, but there is a clag factor. So we will see that as we take off. Lights, we need lights. Um, so we'll go daytime. Cabs, we'll get on. Instruments. And yeah, I think that's that's all we're going to need. Right, well, we'll have a look at this clag factor. The engine doesn't sound that great, to be honest. <laughs> so... Uh, RPMs are building. Not that claggy, but I mean the 6.6s are fairly new. So we wouldn't get too much uh, clag, I suppose, from them. And we're going via signal uh, C0620. We're quite a long train. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, we're actually really long. But I think I've said it before, the 66 is like my favourite loco um, of all time. And they just, they're just so iconic. I mean, not a lot of people liked them because they weren't really built in the UK. And um, they sort of replaced all of the classic sort of UK locos. But they've just become a staple in my eyes. An absolute iconic freight loco of the UK. And uh, the liveries on them are phenomenal. They look great because they've just got this massive slab side to them. And they call them the sheds because... Of the look of them but yeah I absolutely love the 66 and in this um, first GBRF livery it's quite cool and this one is Chinook as I said before it's a sort of special special one um, I believe we'll be fine here we got the road now this is a um, scenario that I 
think comes with the 66 EP um, I'm not sure if I've got everything for the scenario so we might end up seeing some dodgy stuff but uh Yeah, just looking at all these um, options. I thought we were cold and dark for a sec when I first started the scenario. But yeah, London Ipswich, quite an old route, to be fair. Um, and the 66 EP from Armstrong Powerhouse is getting on a bit now. Uh, we're not stopping here, so I don't know. We're just going via here, I think. Um, but yeah, the uh, the EP for this 6.6 is, is pretty old now. But it is still one of the best for Train Sim Classic. But the 6.6s the six on the uh, Train Sim World are phenomenal. They are way better. Because um, you can actually use the computers and everything and, and do the uh, speed set. Or the, uh, the creep mode. Um, for them which is quite cool but no like I say this is this is getting on a bit now but I mean they still look they, 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 you know the actual model and textures look phenomenal for Train Sim Classic they're so so crisp and like you know I think I've got the uh, EP for the intermodal wagons as well, so we get loads of different, loads of different colours and, and shapes, and it just looks very realistic. You know, there's not one the same really, which is quite cool. We have got the road, I believe. That is us. We're still ten mile an hour though through here. Just leaving the yard. Yeah, we'll just have a quick look round. I don't know why we let's go over there. We can't use the computer, so I don't know why it does that. The horn sounds really good on this as well. Oh, I thought it did. Um. I've turned on the wiper somehow. There we go. Uh, hmm. For some reason that's not working. The um. The high loud. That's a shame. Oh well. Yeah, as you can see, the um, sort of the surrounding area isn't the greatest, but uh, we're not really looking at that. We're looking at this. Yeah, let's get a uh, let's get a nice screenshot. All right, we can speed it up a little bit. It takes a while for the the sort of RPM to build and the amps to build in this thing, and it takes a while for the brakes as well. I mean, we are quite heavy. Um, it doesn't actually say what tonnage we are. I think we can do the train length. No, I thought it told us. No matter. Uh, we have got the brakes on goods, not passenger. That's good. I think it just applies it a bit more uh, aggressively. But apparently this is a 30 minute scenario. Um, part 1. And then part 2 is a 60 minute. So we will be doing that part 2 at some point. Probably the next uh, train sim video. After this one. Uh, but we do have um, the the Christmas Euro Truck video coming up, um, literally this weekend, I think. 
So look forward to that. Yeah, not much of a clag coming out the top. I mean, I can give it 10 out of 10. But I mean, these 6.6s six um, aren't very claggy anyway, not compared to a, a 37 that's you know, spewing like black, you know, diesel fumes out the top. These are actually quite, quite good. Um, these 6.6s six are quite economical. They're still, you know, spewing stuff out into the... Uh, into the atmosphere, but it's not as bad as the older diesels. But yeah, I've been trying to play a lot more of these uh, Armstrong Powerhouse scenarios, and I've been looking into doing some other scenarios from some other people, such as Falcon Products and um, and whatnot. But there's so many requirements you need to play the scenario. It's not as easy as just you get it and it runs. There's so many requirements. Uh, and there's a few on Alan Thompson Sim that I want to want to do. So I'm still building my th sort of third party payware um, library at the moment. Um, there's still a lot of Armstrong Powerhouse stuff I want to get. Um, and there's a lot of scenarios within the EPs that you get that I want to play as well. So we'll get there eventually. We'll uh, this. This Christmas they'll more than likely have a sale, and when they do, I will, uh, I will get some more. I'm sort of going up a slight incline here, so I'm just going to go a bit more power. About eight miles away from the signal. These freight scenarios, I tend not to try and do them that often because. They are quite long and boring. Um, for instance, a passenger service, we would have, you know, been straight up to 75 mile an hour, stopping at a station to the next one, to the next one. This one, it's literally just sit here until you get to this to this stop. So it is quite hard sometimes to uh, actually record these and, and sit here. But I, I did see, I saw this one on the um, on the standard scenarios, and it. it in this very uh, unique livery, this GBRF first livery, and I thought, you know what, we haven't done a 6.6 for a while, so we, we, may, we might as well just go ahead and do it. I don't know why that, that horn's not working. the sound is slightly broken I think maybe I need to re like you know download this uh, this EP maybe there's an update for it and I need to download it we're speeding but it's okay um, it's a pretty straight line here and uh, we'll be soon going through this 60 anyway, so it'll be fine. Just did a cheeky running shot there. We're still okay. We haven't hit the. Uh, we haven't hit any um, EWS. The Q 
keep sort of losing amps. So I think we're wheel spinning a little bit. I'm not sure we can apply sand. We are going up the hill a little bit. So maybe that's why we were losing RPM. In all amps, we were maybe wheel spinning and as we were going uphill. I mean, we are quite heavy, so... We'll just apply the sand. It seems to be working. We seem to be uh, doing okay. We're sort of leveling out now. Sometimes this needs a bit of help. And that's the thing with these Armstrong Powerhouse uh, Locos is uh, they add real physics. So, you know, if it is a heavy, heavy train and you are going uphill, it, it will wheel slip. I wish the other horn was working, um, the, the high tone, because these 660s have such a great sounding horn. But I, I'm looking at doing maybe the dovetail 6-6 um, six, six, um, the power hall 6-6 uh, six, six. there's a few scenarios that I've not done with the uh, the dovetail power hall 6-6 six, six. so maybe we'll look at that into the future um, see if we can do a few of them No, I think if they were to, if Armstrong Powerhouse were to redo the 66 EP now, I think it would be a whole lot better than this. I think that they would want to make it better. They they would they've sort of they remove things sometimes because it's not up to their standards anymore. Their standards are quite high nowadays. Um, back when this sort of came out, it was high, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that high. Didn't have to make every button accessible and usable. These days, consumers sort of uh, expect that. Just because, uh, you know, third party software, third party payware keeps getting better and better and better, and people keep adding more and more, and it sort of raises the bar a little bit for it every time, so. And uh, I didn't know this, but. Um, Apparently, Armstrong Powerhouse do remove EPs um, if they feel it doesn't meet their standards of um, quality. For instance, they had a Class 40 EP up on their store in 2019. Um, and they removed it because it wasn't up to their standards kind of wish I'd got that EP to be honest, uh, that class 40 because it really does look really good from the outside but you never know, they could literally just pull the 66 off their site um, and not sell it anymore because it doesn't meet their, their quality standards um, so it's sort of like if if you want these EPs, if you want to get them don't leave it, get them now, because they could just remove it. And um, they did it with the Class 40. I know that the Class 40 was one of their first they ever did. Um, but who's to say that they wouldn't remove the 6.6? So. I mean, they might reintroduce the Class 40 at a later date with upgraded visuals, upgraded tech, um, upgraded skins and... and, and models and stuff and that would be really good but at the moment they that's not their focus I don't think so yeah we uh we it might we might not see a class 40 for a good while I I have the one that you could buy on Steam um which is the pro range you can't get that one anymore I don't think so I was glad to get that one but no if you want the 66 uh I'd go and get it I'd go and get it now because if you never know what happens in the future. Um, I also want to get their um, foliage update, uh, their foliage EP because it updates all the trees and stuff to look a lot better than this. Um, that'll be the next one that I want to get. 
I've looked at it and uh, it looks phenomenal what they've done. Um, it upgrades all the bushes and all the trees to look really, really good, really realistic. So, And then the sky as well. I want to get the sky one. Let's bring it down a bit. We are going to go uphill slightly here, so... Yeah, Armstrong Powerhouse are literally batting things out the park at the moment. Ooh, that bridge is a little weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they are batting things out the park at the moment. Uh, Armstrong Powerhouse, they are doing very well. And um, some of the things they're coming out with, they're, they're releasing something almost, I'd say probably every month they're releasing something new. Um, and Alan, Alan Thompson sim is probably the second behind them in in well in terms of uh, what they're producing but they are releasing something new very soon which is is gonna even you know even uh, even make uh, Armstrong powerhouse uh, run for their money give them run for their money because it looks phenomenal. But yeah, this the third party content payware at the moment is just getting it's just getting to another level. It's getting really good for Train Sim Classic and Yeah, I'm I'm sort of glad I didn't go over to Train Sim World 4 cuz uh I think it's just a waste of money. I think you could spend that money on EPs and and third party content for this game and and have just as much fun. Look at that. Banking as well. Now we are going via here, so it's not too bad, but we do have to sort of bring her down to a, well, 35. That would be to do with the speed, I think. Unless the signal is red, which could be. I haven't seen any other signals to say otherwise. I mean, we ain't stopping if it is. It's, uh, it is green. But we'll let it slide in here. Um, I mean, that 35 is real close to that 50. It has failed, so please treat the rear in front of you as a green light as you pass the press tab. So as we pass it, or is it the next one? It's probably why it's 35, so we'd better just bring it down, actually. I guess they've given us permission anyway to uh, go past. This guy's waiting for us. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it was just, uh, it just automatically gave us permissions anyway. Um, I didn't have to do anything. Does our back end come through? Just about. There we go. We're through now. He can carry on with his journey. Nice little, uh, I mean, we didn't have to do much regarding the signal. It all just all automatically sort of gave us permissions there, but uh, 
maybe they could have made it so it's told us at the start that the signal is broken. We sort of had to, you know, have our wits about us at what signal might be red or broken or something. So, yeah, they could have made that a little bit more engaging, but we won't complain. It's pretty good. We're going uphill again, so we will do the samba. And it's only 35, so... We'll just keep it around here. We're not that far away from Ipswich, four mile, not far. If you didn't see it already, it is on my channel, but um, we did a 6-6 on the um, Trent Valley line, and it was the, um, it was the uh, GB big logo livery, uh, G um, uh, British Rail blue large logo livery um uh six six and it was it was a very very good scenario uh it was a um vulcan products scenario uh, if you haven't seen that video go and go and watch it there is a big playlist on my channel um for train sim classics so you can go and view all of them and uh pick out some that you like we've done quite a few now. I think it's well over 100, 100 videos now on Train Sim Classic. So uh, you can definitely go and pick some that you like. I think we are wheel slipping slightly here. We don't really need the sand now. We're leveling off. up to a 60 by the looks things. And we're sort of going downhill now by the looks things. So we might start picking up a bit of speed. Pick up a bit of speed down here, but not enough to be dangerous. I mean, we are entering a 60.
We're sort of on the main lines now. See, uh, double track main lines. We're really not far. We are stopping here. So we don't want to go too fast, obviously. Let's we'll get our brakes. Because we might need to apply a little bit. Let's go for about four, actually. Feels about right. I'm guessing we just gotta stop the loco in there um, as this is part one it's sort of like a small in introduction and then we'll do a part two um, at a later date probably be the next video that's gonna be about 60 minutes long um, that one which will actually be um, sort of uh, Ipswich to um, what was it? Oh, we're actually slowing down a bit too fast here. Uh, it'll be uh, Hamshall. Uh, so it's uh, Felix Doe to Hamshall. So we've done Felix Doe to request to passing that danger approved. Sweet. So yeah, we started at Felix Doe, was it? Yeah, I think we start. Yeah, we started at Felix Doe. And then we're coming up to Ipswich. Gonna give it uh, another blast on the uh, brakes. The 660 is actually quite. Um, and we might have to give it a bit more than I thought. You gotta be careful because you can't. Even though we've been approved to pass that signal, no, I don't want to. We want to stop before it. But it's because it's air brakes. You sort of gotta be quite careful with it. And we'll leave it at that. perfect all right we will jump outside and see how we did okay that was the uh, Armstrong powerhouse class 66 and we did the scenario 4m02 Felix though to Ham's Hall part one so look out for part two and uh, it was in this very nice first GBRF livery and it was 66723 Chinook we will pick up part two in another episode so if you enjoyed I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.